All right, y'all, so this plot is starting to thicken even more. So if you don't know the whole scam allegations towards KSI and how he scammed his audience and things like that that came out from CoffeeZilla, a lot has been going on around it. You had KSI friends speaking about it. We've covered that. We've talked. We've seen KSI actually respond himself. But what's interesting is the, the crypto owner themselves actually spoke out on KSI's behalf, which is interesting. It's interesting to see this team. But, but then again, like... I mean, he's a powerful friend to make. So can we even trust anything that comes from them? Like, obviously, KSI themsel himself is putting money into them. And also, his fans is, is buying it because he's a publicly, um like, he's publicizing it. So what, what are they going to say? Like, are they going to want their cash cow to be ruined? So I don't know. I, I would have to take it with a grain of salt still, but... Anyway, that, that being said, we finna jump into it. Let's actually see what they said. And let me know what you all think about it in the comment section down below. So guys, KSI has basically been accused of making his followers lose money. It said that on his KSI crypto account, which does say is not financial advice, he would talk about his interest and enthusiasm for a certain coin, then shortly after sell. But now someone has defended him on one of these coins. Coffeezilla made some good points in that post, which KSI said he will make an actual response to. One of the coins owners actually spoke out. XCAD, which is one of the ones in CoffeeZilla's video saying KSI scam, the founder came out and shut down CoffeeZilla's claim that KSI pumped and dumped. He's an active SCAD investor and believer, and he has bought more than sold. And to be fair, I mean, it's hard to it's hard to trust them. If you're going to shoot down claims automatically that somebody pumped and dumped, when they literally they literally came out and said, like, like KSI is very clear. He bought, he tweeted, then he sold. That's a pump and dump. Now, they can defend that that's not his intentions. Maybe he was just taking profits to move funds elsewhere because we have seen KSI do that. But to just come out and say that, no, nah, he didn't pump and dump, I mean, he did. So now your credibility is in question as well because that is exactly what a pump and dump is. When you buy and you tell people that you're still buying and holding your diamond hands and, and then they start to buy and then you sell on them an hour later, that's a pump and dump. So yeah, pumped and dumped. He's an active SCAD investor and believer, and he has bought more than sold. Napower statement said, at the time of writing this, XCAD is one of the most successful IDOs to date. The time of the tweet and the time of selling was not the peak. In fact, shortly after this event, the demand for XCAD increased. So basically, KSI didn't sell at the best time. XCAD is a very liquid asset for its market cap, as I'm sure you can see on CMC and CG. They even say KSI remains an active XCAD investor and believes in XCAD, and he has other wallets as far. So just because he didn't sell at the peak, that that would mean that it's not a, it's not a pump and dump. I mean. You still can't, you don't, you can't know the market. You don't know when, how high it's going to go. So obviously you sell when you've made the profits or the, the target that you're looking to hit. You don't want to just keep holding because you don't know when the, when the peak is going to be. So just because it kept going did not mean, does not mean that he didn't do a pump and dump. So yeah, I mean, x -Cat is just, it looks like they're just trying to suck up to their cash cow to keep doing business with him, to keep him, him, him around. Um, that's what it looks like to me anyway, just my opinion as investors go and has been one of our solid ones the main x card product is due to launch within q1 and we have lots of news and teasers to share throughout the quarter now a very long and complex pdf breaking down when ksi sold everything to do with the charts and all right y'all so th that that was it about the owner um coming out and speaking on ksi's behalf this is actually something that we covered we actually got to see coffeezilla respond to this himself so coffeezilla actually went through this document supporting ksi and he basically debunked it. it. It wasn't. It wasn't as like the evidence. Some evidence was okay. Others, other pieces, not so much. But yeah, if you want to check that video out, be sure to check on the channel. Um, for um, yeah, for the for the rest of the video. So yeah, that being said, man. Um, let me know your thoughts on on this whole situation. Do you think that he actually scammed his fans? He scammed his audience, or do you think that he has more integrity than that and it just looks bad? Let me know your thoughts. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.